Lazy Man Jacob Once upon a time there was a boy whose name was Jacob, and he lived with his mother in a ruined cottage. They were very poor, and the old woman earned a few pennies by spinning, but Jacob was so lazy that he would do nothing except bask in the sun in the hot weather, and sit by the corner of the fire in the winter time. His mother could not make him do anything for her until at last she warned him that if he did not begin to work for his porridge, she would turn him out of the house to get his living as best he could. This threat finally stirred Jacob, and he went out and found a job for the day working on a farm. The farmer paid him one penny, but he was not used to having money, and as he was coming home, he lost it as he passed over a stream. You stupid boy, said his mother, you should have put it in your pocket. Next time I will, replied Jacob. The next day Jacob went out again, and found a job with a cowkeeper, who gave him a jar of milk for his day's work. Jacob took the jar and put it into the large pocket of his jacobet, spilling it all, long before he got home. Dear me, said the old woman, you should have carried it on your head. Next time I will, replied Jacob. The following day Jacob found a job with a farmer, who agreed to give him cream cheese for his work. In the evening, Jacob took the cheese and went home with it on his head. By the time he got home the cheese was completely spoiled, part of it being lost, and part matted with his hair. You good-for-nothing boy, said his mother, you should have carried it very carefully in your hands. Next time, I will, replied Jacob. The day after this Jacob again went out, and found a job with a baker, who would give him nothing for his work but a large tomcat. Jacob took the cat, and began carrying it very carefully in his hands, but in a short time Tommy scratched him so much that he was forced to let it go. When he got home, his mother said to him, You silly fellow, you should have tied it with a string, and dragged it along after you. Next time I will, said Jacob. The next day Jacob hired himself to a butcher, who rewarded his labors by the handsome present of a shoulder of lamb. Jacob took the meat, tied it to a string, and trailed it along after him in the dirt so that by the time he had gotten home the meat was completely spoiled. His mother this time completely lost her patience with him, for the next day was Sunday, and she had to make do with cabbage for her dinner. You nincompoop, said she to her son, you should have carried it on your shoulder. Next time I will, replied Jacob. On the Monday, Jacob went out once more and found a job with a cattle keeper, who gave him a donkey for his trouble. Although Jacob was very strong, he found some difficulty in hoisting the donkey on his shoulders, but at last he managed it, and began walking slowly home with his prize. Now it happened that in a house along his way there lived a rich man with his only daughter, a beautiful girl, but unfortunately deaf and dumb. She had never really laughed in her life, and the doctors said she would never recover until somebody made her laugh. Many tried without success, and at last her father, in despair, said he would offer her in marriage to the first man who could make her laugh. This young lady happened to be looking out of the window when Jacob was passing with the donkey on his shoulders, with the legs sticking up in the air and the sight was so comical and strange, that she burst out into a great fit of laughter, and immediately recovered her speech and hearing. Her father was overjoyed, and kept his promise by marrying her to Jacob, who was thus made a rich gentleman. They lived in a large house, and Jacob's mother lived with them in great happiness until she died.